Hey, what's up? This is Mikey for Electrek, and in this video, we're going to take a look at the shred from Surface 604. Thanks for watching Electrek. Trek, 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 Trek. You guys remember the review of the Rook? I called that bike a stable relationship, the kind of bike that you settle down with. Well, that isn't the bike that we're using today because we are doing the Surface 604 Shred. Now, imagine the stability of the Rook, but with a little bit of a wild side that is begging to come out. I'm actually really comfortable on this bike since I've ridden thousands of miles on my personal bike with similar equipment. The Shred feels like a natural on the trails and it has a very rewarding electric system that will make you feel like a natural as well. Mechanically, it's no slouch either, and I'm really impressed with some of the parts that they've utilized. I really only have one qualm with the bike, and we will get to that. There's a lot to praise on it, so let's go ahead and start with that. One of my favorite things about the shred is the natural feeling of the pedal assist. Surface 604 is using an external torque-based pedal assist, which is a really good system that has kind of a feedback feeling to it. It delivers power based on the amount of tension that the bike feels from the chain. So this is an old illustration that I did a while ago to kind of get that concept across. The mid-mounted battery on the Shred comes stock with 480 watt hours of energy, which is pretty close to the standard size across the industry. For an extra 200 bucks, you can get 672 watt hours, which is actually a good deal for an upgrade. The display on the bike is very big and colorful, which is great if you want to track the details of your ride. The brakes are superb, I really like the hydraulic discs with plenty of bite, and the gearing is adequate for some off-road adventure. The 27.5 by 2.8 tires hit a really good sweet spot for traction and balance. So far, it sounds like the Shred is a really good off-road machine. It is, but there is also a more domesticated side to it. The bike includes a front headlight and spots to mount a rack if you'd like to use it as a commuter, which you totally could if you wanted to. The profile of the bike shows that it could almost pass as a cruiser. It has a short seat post tube and a pretty high stem, and that means that the rider can adjust the seat to sit on the bike with a very relaxed angle. It does show some of the flexibility of the bike, but it also shows that it's not exclusively made for hardcore off-road use. Now let's get the elephant in the room out of the bag. This well-equipped off-road bike sports a rear hub motor. Regular viewers may know that mid-drive systems are preferred for off-road use, especially in the hard trails. Having the weight of the motor in the middle of the bike affords greater balance, and it also allows the rider to better utilize the mechanical gearing. With the hub motor on the shred, the motor operation is separate from the gearing, and balance isn't exactly perfect. Depending on the kind of use that you put the bike through, these aspects may never occur to you. For years, I used a similar hub motor bike off-road, and it was fantastic. At that time, I was still new to the sport and learning as I went along. And for several years of light and medium trails, the bike was exactly what I needed. My old bike was the gateway to a new love for mountain biking that I have today. And the Shred can do the same thing for you. At $2,099, it's a whole lot cheaper than what I started using a long time ago, and it's admittedly better. The Shred holds a special place in my heart. I would recommend it for folks who are looking for an e-bike to set them up for success on off-road adventures. A great starting point. I wouldn't say that it's the ultimate mountain bike, but if you're like me, that's not really in the cards right now. It's very fun, rewarding, powerful, and versatile enough that if you do wind up using it just on the road, you wouldn't feel terribly out of place. So there's my two cents on it, but what do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section below. Thanks for watching Electrek, and I will see you guys on the later. You waited. I figured I could give you something for waiting. No.